Setting apart a time to pray and fast is great, but we can also take it a little further and live a fasted life. And that's what I'm talking about today. And uh, from Luke chapter 2, verses 36 to 37. Now there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of great age. She had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. Anna is the first person recognized as a prophetess in the Gospels. Uh, and so you can say in the New Testament era. And, and this woman had been married uh, for seven years. And after that, her husband died. And after her husband died, she just chose to live for God, to be married to the Lord and, and to seek the face of the Lord and to pray. And she didn't do it out of disappointment or frustration or bitterness. She did it out of commitment and, and conviction. And her life was full of continuous prayer and fasting. And you recognize she was one of the earliest people to identify who Christ was, even when he was a baby in the temple. There are two things I want you to note about Anna. And the first is that she spent time in the temple. She literally lived in the temple. She, the, the pastor says she did not depart from the temple. That means that she was in the temple at all times. The Jewish uh, Hours of prayer were morning, noon, and evening, three times in the day. In addition to that, in the temple, there were all kinds of services and sacrifices that took place. And this woman was there to participate in everything taking place in the temple. And she spent her time there. Probably she had a small uh, basic room in the temple uh, where she lived. But her life was totally devoted to the Lord in the presence of the Lord in the house of the Lord. And from her we learn that spending time in the presence of the Lord and in the house of the Lord is valuable. So whilst we are praying and fasting, it's important that you also spend time in the house of the Lord with other believers gathered together and praying. Don't just do it alone. Gather and be in the temple, be in the house of the Lord. The second thing we learn about Anna is that she lived a fasted life. That means that she was dedicated to the routine of prayer and fasting. She didn't just do it once a year, but it was her life. And the passage says that she worshipped the Lord with prayer and fasting. For her, prayer and fasting was a worship. So you get the impression she wasn't even asking for a breakthrough. She wasn't asking for favor. She wasn't asking for a child. Of course, she wasn't asking for a husband. She was just worshiping the Lord, dedicating her life, pouring out her life to the Lord. Many times we become too self-centered when we enter moments of prayer and fasting because it's all about our need, our need, our need. And we even forget about the Lord uh, who must be the center of our affection. So this woman shows us that Christ must be the center of our affection or God must be the center of our affection. The pastor didn't tell us what kind of fast she was doing because if she was fasting throughout, of course, she wouldn't be without food throughout her life. She wouldn't survive that. So probably um, she fasted certain days in a week, probably twice a week, or maybe she fasted certain meals in a day and she did it constantly. Or maybe she uh, took some kind of food out of her meal plan and, and probably didn't eat certain things and, and did it constantly. But the important thing you note is her discipline, her commitment, and her sense of devotion and the routine of waiting before the Lord and doing it constantly. That is what I call a fasted life. And it's preferable to just fasting. You have to make it a routine of your life. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, I dedicate myself to worship you day and night. Show me your glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.